Hello County Choir YouTube viewers, this is Taff and I am pleased to introduce you to Mr Tom Tremaine. He is our current Vice Chairman and this is the newest instalment of our Meet the County Choir. So Tom, you're very newly elected um, Vice Chairman. Um, how do you feel about the role that you hold? And um, just obviously yeah, tell us a little bit about what you do, what you're currently bringing and what you hope to bring in the future. Okay, well, so I'm, you know, I'm very honoured that everyone has, um, you know, voted me in to be the, the vice chairman. It's, uh, it's actually a role I'm enjoying doing. Um, obviously, you know, I've been a fan of the county for a long time. It's good to have a bigger role in, um, you know, I guess working towards making it a bigger club, which is basically what the county choir are doing. Um, except, you know, whereas. Um, you know, the team and the trust are trying to make the, the club bigger on the field. We're trying to make it more uh, bigger sort of off the field, the fan side of things. Yeah. Trying to make a bigger atmosphere and um, get, you know, making them Rodney Parade a fortress, basically, making it a really difficult place for, you know, other teams to, to come and visit. So, one of the things that I do is um, I try and promote the, the group through uh, social media, primarily Facebook. Um, I also help out with YouTube, like recently we went down to Spitney Park and uh, we interviewed John Sheridan and uh, Mark Rin for the uh, Kenny Choir YouTube channel. Um, so I, you know, with my background in media and that sort of thing, you know, I'd, I'd like to help out with that sort of stuff as well. Um, but also, you know, promoting things through social media is something I'm, you know, I, I, you know, not the same cocky, but something I feel like I'm quite good at. Um, I do have a, a, a sort of passing interest in, in social media marketing, so you know, having those kind of skills help to um, to fill that role quite well. Um, and I also help out with things like organising meetings and uh, keeping a check on the group and, and trying to make sure that uh, everyone has a role to fill and basically helping Chris out with any you know admin stuff as and when needed. Ah, great stuff, then, mate. So, um. What kind of potential do you see within the group then? Well, what can the group aspire to be in the future? Well, I know that um, you know, many members within the group want us to become as big as uh, you know, other ultra groups around the country. For example, I know Chris likes um, uh, it's a Celtic uh, ultra group and wants us to be as big as that one day. Um, perhaps that's a bit out of reach for us in the near future, but uh, it's certainly something to aspire to, and I don't see anything wrong with emulating big groups like that, which I think is basically what we try and do. Um, so I can only see our, our numbers growing, um, and hopefully as the, uh, as the team improves on the field, it's only going to attract more fans and hopefully more members, which is, uh, which is what we all want, really. Bigger, you know, bigger uh, attendances and you know, better, better atmosphere. So what would you say to admirers, obviously you said about the group becoming bigger, what would you say to admirers, you know, people who are sort of sitting on the side who may feel like getting involved, but uh, for some reason, you know, don't feel as though we're approachable enough for them to come and speak to us. What would you say to them kind of people? Um, well, just don't be afraid and come and have a chat with us. We're normal guys, you know, we're all candy fans at the end of the day. Mm. Um, I mean, you know, even if you don't feel like you can approach us, just send us a message on, on Facebook, whatever, you know, send a, a direct message to our, uh, our Facebook group. And uh, one of us will just get in touch with you and, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's all a bit of fun, you know, it's, you don't take everything too seriously, it's, mm -hmm. you know, that's what this group's all been about. I mean, they got, you got other groups like, um, you know, uh, maybe like the Smile Council, for example, and they're a little bit more serious, they raise a little bit more money we do and that sort of thing, but um, our primary focus is trying to build an atmosphere on the ground, uh, in, in, inside the ground mm. on match day and you know, to really do that you have to be enjoying what you're doing, you know, you have to have a laugh, mm. so you know, just come and have a chat with us, you know, more than welcome. Brilliant, so um, what would you say about the, the lads that we've currently got then, do you think we got a good group? Yeah, definitely. I think everyone brings something different to the table, um, which I think is, is what you need to have a successful supporters, uh, supporters group. Um, so yeah, I think everyone plays their part. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm quite pleased with, with where we're going at the moment. I think we've got the right people in place to make that happen. Ah, great. So um. 
Could you explain your own version of the story on how the county choir became founded? Mm, long story. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, it started back in the days at, uh, at Smitty Park, um, on the terrace, uh, known as the, the shed. Mm. Um, and I can just remember we, we, we all used to sing in, in that one area right at the back. And uh, I think just very slowly we started sort of introducing ourselves to each other and getting to know each other and just having you know, a chat. Um, and I can remember uh, Edo, who was one of our, um, one of our, well, one of our former members, who, uh, who still helps out on from time to time. Family commitments, I believe, yeah, is the stumbling block for him. Yeah. yeah. I remember his infamous "Can't You Till I Die" solo is one of the things that brought us together. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty much through that the same passion and the same love that just sort of brought us together and mm. you know, we all enjoyed our singing and chanting and that and you know, it was just great fun. And, uh, so, yeah. so you can basically say the Kennedy Choir has not been an ongoing group of friends, you know, throughout the, you know, the, their whole lives or anything. Obviously people have come together in dribs and drabs and built this group. So we say that's a good message to send out to people basically to say that we can expand our numbers in the exact same way because obviously you know we are a welcome bunch yeah i mean everyone in our group come from different backgrounds um there's such a diverse age range as well i think I'm not sure how young is our youngest member i think we logan's 14 14 uh, that oldest is probably probably paul gobbett or kev in yeah. their 40s yeah um, so, you know, there's no kind of, um, we're not uh, prejudiced against any particular, mm. you know, age or so anything like that. Very much an everyone is welcome type group. Yeah, it's very, you know, we're very welcoming. Um, and, um, yeah, it's just a great group to be in, really. Yeah. Um, so, um, just quickly then, uh, just explain about your support for the county over the years and where it all started for you and, um, just basically tell your story. Well, it's just something I was pretty much born into because uh, my dad has been a fan since he was about 16. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I kind of, although I don't remember it, I think I've been to uh, Gloucester when we were outside when I was a very young at the time. Um, but then my, so my first county memories are really when I, when I, when I got to Skinny Park. And I can remember being, becoming like a really nuts county fan about 2004, something like that. That's when I wanted to go to like every single game. I didn't want to miss a match. You know, I wanted my dad to get me a season ticket and everything. I wanted a shirt. So, you know, it just became completely county mad. Um, Great. And so, yeah, um, and obviously we had our, our promotion to the Conference South, and I think it was that season that I think the group sort of started to form. Yeah. Um, and then since then it's been sort of, uh, I've been committed to, you know, this is kind of quite a stuff, basically, um, building the supporters group and, mm -hmm. you know, trying to recruit new members and just, uh, yeah, trying to do the best that I can to uh, to come back to the, uh, a great football club. That's great, mate. That's great. Well, that's all the questions we've got for you today. This was Tom Tremaine, County Choir's Vice Chairman. Thanks very much. Thank you.